Hi everyone, hope you're doing great. This is Ehsan. I'm gonna show you today how to set up OpenVPN on your Hive. Uh, apparently, some of the servers of Hive API is blocked in some countries, especially in my country. So, there are two solutions. One is you can buy a Microtik uh, router and set up a VPN and put it on your network so your whole network will be uh, passing through the VPN. Another option is to set up an open VPN on your device, on your rig, and then your rig gonna use the open VPN and pass through that connection. Uh, even if you are not concerned about those censorship on the API of the hype, you may be, you know, willing to hide your IP address for any reasons. So this is one way to do it. Uh, we're gonna go to this account and here as you see the IP address of this one let's start with 87 and that is IP address of Aaron. Let's see. So as you see this is the IP address of Iran and we're gonna go and uh, use the OpenVPN on this device to change the IP address of this one. So for this one, uh, you need a account on the any VPN provider that supports OpenVPN or IKE v2. And for these purposes, I'm using the Proton VPN. It has a free version and it has also the paid version. This account is for the free version. Ah, oh, sorry, this is for the paid version. Let me copy paste the username and password. Don't worry about it, you cannot use this one since it's just gonna be reset one, uh, by one click. And then we're gonna come to the download. We're gonna get the configs. So I wanna go and choose Netherlands. Uh, here. So I'm gonna choose a connection with a little bit lower load. Let's see. It's the best. Before. Yeah. I'm gonna download this one. So when you download this one, this is a config of the client config. Sometimes only uploading this file and username password on the uh, OpenVPN panel of the HiveOS it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let me open the file, copy it, to bring it to the desktop. So, there are three sections in the file. One is the client certificate, which begins here and ends here. You can upload this file alone, or you can create three separate files. So what I'm gonna do is to create the three separate files since this one alone didn't work for me. For that, we need to create a notepad or text file. So I can paste this one here and save it and rename this one i call it client cert as you see the icon change and this is a, our certificate uh, client certificate if you cannot see the the name the dot exe.crt or any of this one, you can go on the, the, this menu, go to the, go, hold on, here, yeah, option, and then you can go to the view, and then you have to uncheck the boxes of hide extension for the file type, for the known file type. Usually, if the extension is hidden, you have to come here and uncheck this box. Mine is unchecked. So here, we're gonna go and do the key also. This is my key. This is my client key. 
it starts here and ends here. I copy it, control C, and then I'm gonna make a text file. Call it key. Let's open it, paste it, save it, and then we have to put the extension as key. Yes, I want to do that too. So yeah, basically this is what you have to do. Now we're gonna come to now we're gonna come to the pipe. We're going to click on open VPN configuration, turn it on, choose a file, check for our hive VPN. So this is our client config. This is for the certificate. We're gonna upload this one again. Both are the same. And we're gonna put the key as well. Also, we're gonna need the username and password for the insurance. Here is the username. And here is the password. We just copy paste it. Press the save. Wait for it. Usually it have to say successful. Open VPN successful. If it fails, you can try it several times. And if it's still you were not successful, you have to reset your rig, reboot your rig and do that while the rig is offline and when it comes on it's gonna get those settings. Okay, this one failed. I'm gonna try it again. Open VPN, choose the file, this one. Client, client, key, that's what it was copied, and then that's a username also. Let me see. Let me double check the extension of the key. One moment, I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, it was all good, and after the second attempt, it accepted. Let's see if the IP changed. If the IP didn't, yeah, the IP changed right away. If the IP didn't change right away, all you have to do is to reboot your device. Let's see where is this location, and this is in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Yeah, that's true. Hope you enjoyed this and hope this one was helpful for you. See you next time. Have a nice one.